Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome back. I'm Brendan Lee. In this video I want to talk to you about a possibility of changing your, how you relate to yourself, how you relate to your emotions, how you relate to your experience. It occurred to me I wanted to share a possibility and then invite you to consider it and to maybe take it on for yourself if you want. It's something you can do, actively do. And it is this. So let's start in the normal world that most normal people live in, <clears throat> or most people live in, the vast majority of people live in, which is my emotional state, how I am, is caused by stuff that's outside of me. You ever notice, like, if you walk into a room, it just doesn't feel right? Or if, um, I don't know, you're, you might be hanging out, but then you start thinking thoughts about uh, somebody else you don't like, you start having a bad day, or you, you get in a mood, you get in a funk, these kinds of things. And then you might try to, like, say if I'm in a mood, I might try to do something outside myself to change my mood. I might try to eat something or, you know, eat some good food and then to make myself feel better. Or, you know, I don't quite feel right, for example, maybe I'll make a lot of money and get the car or something, or I'll start a business and be successful and then that will resolve me. This is normal. And then, so... Contrast that with a, in a, with a world where what am I, I'm trying to get across this a place where you can diverge from the norm, a place where you can like okay, here's what I normally do. Let's try something else. And and it came to me a bit like a realization, and it was nothing is going to work. There is nothing that you can do outside that's going to work to fix the problem, to fix the hole in your soul, to fix the, the suffering that you live with. Nothing that you can do outside is going to work. No change of scenery, no traveling all the time, no getting the right job, meeting the right people, having the right things happen to you. That's all external. None of that works for the type of change I'm talking about, that, you know, that internal suffering you have going on. You say, life isn't quite right, I'm not quite right, I'm broken, I can't be fixed. There's just something, no matter what you do, it doesn't work, does it? And so that's the norm. The norm is the struggle, the try to get things, try to attain things. Now, I'm not saying don't attain things, by the way. Well, that's another story. We'll get into more traps probably here shortly because I want to outline those as well. And so the realization comes up like, oh, shit, I can't do anything outside of me to fix this. Now, either at that point, it might, might, might hit a crisis. Uh-oh. <clears throat> so what am I supposed to do? Just get old and die and suffer? Well, that's what most people will do. But then it's like, oh, that means now, if I have that realization, if I have the, aha, there's nothing out there that's going to work, then what does that give me? What does that leave me with? Now I can do something. Now I can do something because it's up to me. There's no, so then, then, there's nobody but you who can fix you. Even if you have a team around you of very smart people trying to get you to drop the suffering or be whole and complete or finally finished, you know, as a human being and happy. Team, you could have a whole team of really smart engineers around you and psychotherapists and whatever. But if you don't want it, you're not going to get it. 
See, so now, now, <clears throat> now this new world opens up. Oh, that means I can do something about it. But then, then there might come the daunting task of what the fuck is going on here? I don't know what I'm doing with my own mind. I, I start to realize, wait a minute, it's my mind that is causing all these problems. I, you know, it's the way that I think. It's no longer like, oh, what circumstance am I in? It's what am I doing in relationship to that circumstance? Do you see how that's different? In one, it's out there is the problem, and now I'm, <laughs> I'm the problem, it's me. <laughs> or whatever that song is, you see? Who's the problem? It, you can't change your external circumstances, or there's circumstances that are out of your control, but you can control how you relate to those circumstances. Then, if you switch, now you have the power. Not circumstances, you do. See how that's a change? That's a... That, that nothing really changes except your relationship to all this stuff, your perspective. You have a contextual, as if, perspective shift. Ah, now it's on you. And then you might run into the problem, well, how, the, how do I do that? How do I now control this rampant mind that I find? All of the, you know, I, I keep discovering more and more crap that I do <clears throat> with my mind that just plain hurts. And I'm tired of it. <laughs> I'm tired of myself in that way. Now, and I keep discovering more and more and more stuff that I'm doing, little things here and there. You know, somebody might look at me the wrong way, and then I, I think they don't like me, and then that triggers something else, and, brrr, and, before, and I'm like, ow, you know, maybe a small thing, but still, it's like an owie. It's like suffering. I'm like, why do I need to live a life where if somebody looks at me askance or wrongly, in my eyes wrong, and I get hurt about that? What's that about? Now it's no longer them. Now I've cut myself off from the, this, perhaps this is one of my main points right here, is like I've cut myself off now from, as best I can, from, <clears throat> it's the world making me feel this way. So now, it is no longer the world makes me feel this way. It's like I make me feel this way. And then now it's me. And now my mind in a, is held differently and I start to see how much suffering I do. How much crap I go through over and over and over and over again. And right, and now we're into the problem where you don't know how to control it. You don't know. Nobody teaches you how to control your mind, really. I mean, perhaps to some degree, maybe some parents, they're like, well, stop that or calm this down or do this or have some discipline here. And, but nobody, I don't see any courses on the workings of the mind experience relationship. You know, what I'm calling the mind experience relationship. Like, as far as I know, scientists, they study the brain, but they don't study like how it, how it creates experience. I don't know. Well, maybe they do. Maybe they do. I'm sure they do. <clears throat> but then it remains in an intellect, whereas like the reality of trying to control your own mind so that now all this massive pile of crap that I live with, I start to toss it out, start to leave it alone, get rid of it, stop going there. See, and it's freeing because now it's forcing me to discover things about myself that, that prior to that, it's like, oh, no, it's reality's problem. <laughs> Reality makes me feel this way. I can't do anything. That kind of thing. You see, you see the difference? Of course you do. All right. So you see that shift. So now if you do that, you will then be aligning with taking responsibility for your experience, responsibility for how you feel, responsibility for your world and how it shows up for you. Because nobody else can do that for you, and that's just the truth. And you start aligning with that, and something can change. At least it gives you the possibility to do something about it. All right, so now some of the traps. Now in this seems to be some of the tricky stuff in relationship to what I've just said, where 
Now you've heard me say something. Here are some of the things that I think will stand in your way, and they can be tricky. You've heard me say something about taking ownership of your own experience. Now you might start to think that that is the right way to live. And you should live that way. And if you don't live that way, you're somehow bad and wrong. Or you're somehow you're not following the correct path. Do you see that? Whoopsie, now you're back into suffering again. Can you see how that happens? You're not on the right path. Uh, do you feel good about that? No, probably not. What's that about? Did I cause that? Did the video cause you to not feel good about you as a person because you're not on the right path? That's more suffering again. Why are you doing that? Um, <clears throat> other traps, that's the main one. That's one main trap. Just trying to think of other tricky stuff here. It's, it's like, um, metaphorically speaking, it's like a... Uh, Shoot. I don't know, you ever like, you're, you're, you start, well, okay, maybe you've done some meditation or something. You start meditating, and you're into the meditation, and then somehow the meditation slips unknowingly into like some kind of fantasy thing, or, or like daydreaming, right? So you're focused on now, you're present, you're aware, and then, and then before you know what's going on, you, you slip seamlessly from from the present moment shoop, into something else, and you didn't realize the switch, and then five minutes later, you're like, oh, shit, what have I been doing for five minutes? It's, it can be like that, where it's not, it's mm, slippery in that sense. Or you, there, there, are, there are forces in play, at play for that you, basically, your person, it's a very forceful activity. There's forces going on that want to keep you the way you are. You don't want to change. Yeah, but Brendan, I do want to change. If you could change, go ahead and do that now. Go ahead. I'll wait. Okay, no, I won't wait. You don't just change like that. Perhaps in another way, you could change, but you see, it's forceful. You are forceful. Um, so it can be slippery like that. <clears throat> um, other things that can come up, resistance. The, the mechanisms that keep that for, for safety, the, your safety mechanisms might be triggered if you go monkeying around, and you might experience fear. You might experience anger. You might have emotional reactions or reactivity. These things can occur. There's another trap, you see. It's more, it's more drama. Um, and sometimes the drama cannot be seen as such until after the fact. So, again, it's a challenge. It's a trap, challenge. These are challenging things. Another one that I've seen is, oh, the main one, believing me. Slipping into a belief about what I'm presenting. The beliefs don't work. See, um, okay, no, you don't see. I went off somewhere else. If you believe me, <coughs> what are you left with? What's left out of this discourse, this song and dance that I'm doing here with you? What do you got left? If you believe me, you have a uh, belief. <laughs> you see how that works? A belief. That's not. That's nothing experiential about a belief. It's the what you will experience is the belief. And the belief is a thought of that you think something is true. I'm not telling you to have a thought about what's true. I'm, ha I'm inviting you to consider. I'm inviting you to do it and then see if what I said is actually bears out. If what I said actually bears out. Do it. Find out. Fuck around. Find out. Don't just believe me. Because, again, why? Why would I go on that road? Because if you believe me, it won't serve you. Never does. It serves you in believing, in this kind of work. Now, if you want to start a religion, and if you want to have a lot of followers, and if you want to have a bunch of people just doing stuff, just making shit up to believe in, so that they can feel good, which is nothing wrong with that, then you'll be left with that. It's very shallow. No, I'm saying, hey, here's, here's something you can check out. You tell me. 
All right. Okay. So traps, you got the picture. If you go from this one world of everything causes me. Now, if, maybe the last thing here, we'll see. If you're in the world where everything causes you stuff and you cannot do anything about it, and you're going to stay in that world, then fine. At least be happy with what you got. You, you, you're now going to be completely dominated by external circumstances in order for you to feel good. You're going to have to manage your life and do a bunch of crap to handle that. Be happy with that or not. But if you want to be happy, go ahead and be happy with that. Now, and then if you can switch <clears throat> to this other world, then now you will have a monumental task in front of you of realizing that your mind is probably just is run amok. It's out of control, and now you can do something about it. All right? And that's a different world, a world now where you have the power, you're making the, as if those decisions, and there's something to discover there that seems to be there's something to discover there that is aligned with personal power, vitality, ability to connect and be, be free, connect with others, get in touch with life. Yeah. I'm also a little bit inspired. I, I was reading, you know, reading a bit, and uh, there was a quote there by Ralston. He was talking about consciousness work and some of the benefits and that what came to mind this like being connected to life connected to others having more personal power aliveness creativity these kinds of things once you start throwing away the suffering that you're doing I, it seems to me that now i'm more freed up to do other things rather than be wrapped up in this like mental mm, structure that shoves me down these roads as if you see, and you can even hear in the language that I'm using, it's like, it shoves me, not I'm creating it. You see how that can be tricky. So as I free myself up, it's like, ah, okay, I can just, I can go down different roads. Who knew? And this could have a direct impact on creativity and other things. So just thought I'd share. All right. So there you go. Enjoy that. Do something about it. Oh, if you want to do something about it, Who's got to do it? You got to do it. You have to do something about that if you want it. Let me know in the comments what you come up with if you're working on that. All right. Otherwise, much love. Take care. I'm Brendan Lee with thebrendanlee.com in support of consciousness and skill worldwide. If you want to get serious or I have other offerings, check the links in the description. There's people writing me on a forum. It helps me create content for you. And take care. Much love. Till next time. Ciao.